It's a must, ladies and gentlemen. It's a must. What's up, guys? It's Wednesday, March 20th, 2024. That is the Bitcoin block height. And this video <laughs> is going to piss some people off. I already know that. So who am I talking about in this video? Because as you can see from the title, it says gold bugs. Uh, I don't even like that name, but got to do some clickbait sometimes. But, you know, you guys know what a gold bug is. Somebody that really, really likes gold, has a lot of their net worth in it. Old school type of person, you know. Very stubborn, and I'll get to that more into this list. But it's more than that to me because I used to be this person that I'm getting ready to talk about. It's also a silver stacker, precious metal stacker, gold, silver, platinum, all the same uh, categories, basically. And uh, how did I come up with this list? Well, I have experience. I used to be a precious metal stacker, obviously, for those of you that don't know. And I'm going based on the things that I went through as a precious metal stacker. Also, what other precious metal stackers have told me and just my observations being in a lot of different coin shops and everything else. I've I've talked to a lot of, lot of precious metal stackers about Bitcoin. Now, I'm specifically talking about Bitcoin. I am not talking about any cryptos, quote unquote. And I'm going to make a video of the top reasons or 10 reasons or whatever of why Bitcoin ain't crypto. But that's not for here because, again... Crypto ain't Bitcoin, and Bitcoin damn sure ain't crypto. Which one's the best crypto asset? Well, Bitcoin's the best crypto asset. Okay, what's the second best? There is no second best. Without further ado, let's get on into it. Number 10. Now, these are not in any particular order. These are just 10 things that I've noticed. So number 10, reason why gold bugs don't buy Bitcoin. Peter Schiff. Let's talk about Bitcoin for a second. Uh... At what point did Bitcoin really get on your radar and did you initially buy some? Well, it got on my radar pretty early on, um, maybe around 2010, 2011. People told me about it. Now, <laughs> I made a video about him and a lot of gold bugs, you know, listen to a lot of different people. Robert Kiyosaki, even though he does buy Bitcoin, um, a lot of you don't listen to him when he, talk, when he talks about Bitcoin. But a lot of you guys refer to Peter Schiff. And, you know, I thought it was interesting. But ultimately, you know, I always see long term. And I saw the flaws and the reason why it would never actually work for the purposes that it had been created and what people were thinking. Um, but And I didn't buy it. And he's done you a disservice, ladies and gentlemen. He just has. And... To me, in my personal opinion, he is the worst asset manager in history, man. In my opinion. Because if he would have told you to put 1% into Bitcoin, just say, oh, yeah, just play around with it. You know, 1% of it, of your net worth in it or something like that. I'm not telling you to put 1%. Again, it's not financial advice. But if you would have said, listen, man, of your wealth into, into precious metals and then 1% into Bitcoin... And I'm talking about 2011, 12, all the years he was denying it. You guys would be straight right now. But the mistake that I made in not buying it, I just did not see the potential that it would catch on, that so many people would be taken in by it and be fooled by it, such that, you know, you could have this gigantic, you know, pyramid, Ponzi, chain letter type of effect. What kills me about Peter Schiff and other influencers in the... Uh gold community and it ain't just i'm not just picking on peter Schiff, but he's obviously you know the main guy because there's other gold bugs too that do this too that tell you don't buy bitcoin and all this other stuff but what kills me about people like peter Schiff is this they tell you to put five percent into precious metals and they're telling you how how high the price is going to go in this many years and this year it'll be this and that okay you're telling me to put five percent in what about the other nine ninety five percent where am i supposed to put that in just saying, <laughs> you know what I mean? I I don't get that. So if you have listened to Peter Schiff and you've taken advice for him and you've been on the fence, he's the wrong guy to listen to, guys. He's been debunked so much in the Bitcoin community. And in fact, it wasn't just Bitcoin. You know, one of the, the objections I had to Bitcoin when I first heard about it was that, well, what if somebody else comes up with another digital currency 
you know, what's to stop that from happening? I mean, there's, I, there could be an unlimited number of these. And I was right about that. There's now over 11,000 of them. And again, uh, <laughs> I've been part of the Bitcoin community for three years and I was in the parallel. I was in both. I was in precious metals and in the uh, Bitcoin community. And I got to say, man, uh, they roast him because he's just wrong about Bitcoin. He just is. Bitcoin is not money. And that's not an opinion. Those are just facts, man. And he even said it. I would have bought Bitcoin, you know, if I could go back and learn about it. Or if I know what I know now, I don't went back and bought. Now, I'm not saying he would have kept it and he, he thinks Bitcoin is good. Bitcoin is obviously clear and obviously outperformed gold in the last 15 years. I know that's a short period of time, but but Peter Schiff barely even acknowledges that. You know what I mean? He always talks about all these other things that I'm getting ready to talk about in the next nine that I'm going to refer to. But again, man, if you're listening to Peter Schiff, he is doing you a disservice. So again, number 10, the reason why gold bugs don't buy Bitcoin is because of Peter Schiff. The number ninth reason precious metal stackers don't buy Bitcoin because it's not physical. It's digital magic fairy dust, they call it. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. No intrinsic value, they say. So it has no physical qualities. And this to me is one of the, I don't wanna say stupid, but that is just, oh my goodness, man. Guys, you gotta get out of the 20th century, man. We're in the 21st century. You're watching me on the internet. You don't hold physical Polaroid pictures anymore. You're not watching uh, DVDs anymore. You're watching, movies on streams you're listening to songs on spotify and streaming you're not you don't have cds tapes and stuff like that anymore man you're, you're caught in the old world you're in an analog world talking crap about digital money in a digital world you're that's that's completely wrong and not, not having any intrinsic value guys bitcoin has the biggest computing network in the world ladies and gentlemen no intrinsic value just because, and again, this goes back to Peter Schiff. Right, I, I have a gold watch that I'm wearing, but the beauty is if I, if I got tired of this watch, I can melt it down and I can get the gold back and I can do something else with it. Uh, so it has value. Just because you can't wear Bitcoin on your, on your watch or on your wrist or around your neck, it's not jewelry, or if you can't put it in your phone for technology, doesn't mean it doesn't have intrinsic value in this magic fairy dust money. What do you think those fiat currencies dollars on your screen is? It's nothing. There's 21 million Bitcoin and that's it. That can be created out of thin air uh, in an in indefinite a number. And they do exist. Just like the pictures on your phone exist. You may not be able to touch them, but they exist. So to me, that's a silly one. Like I said, number nine, no physical value, no intrinsic value. To me, that's just absolutely silly. The eighth reason you guys, precious metal stackers, don't buy Bitcoin. It's because you live in an echo chamber. You do. And you're biased as hell, and you don't look at things objectively. And you know I'm telling the truth. When you're on a team, I'll give you an example. I was talking to my friend about this, and this is why I say don't play the Republican Democrat game. People nowadays, especially how divided we are right now, they're not even looking at the other side of the aisle. They're not looking at Democrats. If you're a Republican, to see if they're saying anything right. If you're not, and if you're a Republican, you just think all Democrats are bad and stuff like that. You're not objectively looking for truth and answers. All you're doing is doing confirmation bias and just confirming everything that you know on your side of the argument is right. And that's why we're divided. It's called divide and conquer. Never do that, man. I'm not saying be in the middle and be a fence rider, because I'm not a fence rider, but always look for the truth, right? It doesn't matter that your thing that you like, i.e. your gold or your silver, is not as good as Bitcoin. Because gold and silver are better than Bitcoin in some things. It has a physical nature, like we talked about in number nine. You know, you can use it, uh, you know, silver, you can use it in a lot of different things, industrial things, platinum and stuff like that. It has physical, attributes that Bitcoin just can't do. But as far as money goes, to me, objectively speaking, Bitcoin for this era is just a lot better. So when you live in an echo chamber and all you do is watch the same videos over and over again, because I know people like this. And again, I'll go back to the Republican Democrat thing. A lot of my family members are Democrats. And what do you think they watch? You think they watch Fox News? No, 
all they watch is CNN, MSDNC, nothing but crap, ABC, CBS, and all left-wing mainstream liberal media stuff. So if you're the same way with your precious metals and all you do is watch Yankee stacking and silver dragons and because all they're going to talk about is cryptos are bad. Listen to me. Anybody that t puts Bitcoin and crypto in the same breath, and I'll get into this more in the Bitcoin is not crypto video. If they say Bitcoin and crypto in the same breath, let me tell you something. They're telling you they don't know about Bitcoin without telling you they don't know about Bitcoin. But I don't see any value in these crypto tokens. They're not the same, guys. Okay? And that's why a lot of you guys say crypto and Bitcoin. If you study Bitcoin, you'll understand that. So, number eight, you guys are living in an echo chamber. You're being biased for your particular investment, and you're not looking at it objectively. So, I suggest you really, truly get out of your echo chamber. And if you want to learn about Bitcoin, learn it from someone that knows what they're talking about, that actually saves in Bitcoin and not somebody like Peter Schiff, who hates on Bitcoin. Number seven, don't buy Bitcoin because you don't want to admit you're wrong. You're stubborn and you got an ego. Boy, oh boy. Now this one here, I almost put this as number one. You guys are the most stubborn, stubborn people I've ever met. Because you lived in that echo chamber like I talked about earlier, and you've been conditioned to think this is the only way, this is the only way, and you've had tunnel vision because it's been 5,000 years, 5,000 years. This is it, this is it. I get it, I am so, and I was like that too, to a certain extent. But I am so glad that I, I didn't stack precious metals for years and years and years before I seen Bitcoin. I'm so glad. I stacked uh, precious metal, I started stacking in the summer of 2020 and I bought Bitcoin in February, 2021. So I bought it seven months before, but I did research about two months before I bought it two, three months before I bought it. And I am so glad. And even then, even me, who wasn't this big gold bug, I was I was new. I was within a year of stacking. Even me, I was being stubborn. So I completely understand what you guys are going through. But listen, you got to get out of those echo chambers. And once again, Bitcoiners and precious metal stackers, we are on the same team, right? It's not about and falling for the divide and conquer method that they're using on us they don't want bitcoin's price to go up the government they don't want gold and silver and platinum to go up why because everybody know about the game of fiat currency if you study precious metals and or bitcoin guess what you're going to learn you're going to learn that their system the fiat currency is bs and it's broken and they don't want you to know that why do you think they keep the price of precious metal suppressed we already know why and they want us fighting with each other and saying, look, I'm right, you're wrong. Listen, there is nothing, and I mean nothing wrong with being wrong. It's okay to be wrong. I was wrong, I'm wrong every day, right? It doesn't mean you're stupid or dumb and you made the wrong decision. You just have to adjust and pivot, right? You have to adapt, right? Let's say you bought a certain kind of generator or something in your house, and then three years later, they come out with a new one and it's better than you. You're gonna sit there and get stuck on that same generator? or that same kind of ammo or whatever. Listen, it's okay to be wrong, but it is not okay to stay wrong. Check your ego and your stubbornness at the door and do you and your family a favor and take a hard look at what you've been doing the last couple of years and just look objectively, man, and non-biasedly, like I said earlier, and look and see, and objectively speaking, again, I know it's brand new, but Bitcoin has outperformed gold in the monetary standpoint as a savings technology by leaps and bounds. It just has, and gold has not done its job of keeping up with inflation like it was supposed to do. Yeah, I know it's his all time high, but not adjusted for inflation. So that's number seven, your ego and your stubbornness, and don't let that stop you from studying Bitcoin. Number six, too much time invested in gold and silver. Too much money invested in gold and silver. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're a person that's been stacking your precious metals for 10 plus years, seven plus years, 15 plus years, however long you're doing, it is very, very difficult going back to the ego thing to not only admit that you're wrong, but now you're saying, man, what do I do with all this stuff? Again, nobody's telling you to sell your precious metals for Bitcoin. Now I did that, I did. I had quite a bit of my uh, net worth in precious metals. And I'm gonna tell you, man, it, it's liberating. And, if, and I feel like I have a ton of weight off my shoulders when I can put my energy, my hard earned energy into Bitcoin safely away into a cold storage versus having uh, my precious metals at the house. Again, even though I have 
really i have i have really good security man I, I really do i got all the bells and whistles but when i when i had precious metals i didn't feel right going out of town because i just like man what if they come in or what if the cops don't come in time or blah 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 it's just that peace of mind because your house with all those precious metals becomes a honeypot right but if you store your bitcoin away the right way they can't get it even if they get your 12 or 24 or a password if you, if you do it right they still can't get it so too much time and too much money and a lot of people think well what am i going to do again what am i going to do with all these precious metals and this that, and a third just slowly study bitcoin it's not that hard what i did and i'm not telling you to do this but what i did over 2022 and 2023 i slowly started getting rid of my stack and started trading it in for bitcoin now I'm not, again i'm not saying you to do that but that's what i did and uh the more i learned the more i traded in so number six too much time and money in your precious metals number five human nature throughout history human beings have not <laughs> have not uh, adjusted to new technologies or new paradigm shift easily they just haven't you always use the horse versus the car and the train you got the candles and the uh and the light bulbs you know the internet versus books or newspapers or whatever i mean there's all different kind of even you know things that we've seen in our lifetime but you can you imagine the people that had horses for five or ten thousand years um did you ever see that picture where <laughs> the person put uh, i think he put a, the car in in i don't know what was it he either put the car in front of the carriage or the carriage in front of the car or something because they just felt like there's no way there's no way that this thing this car because that's why they called it horsepower because we measured the the power w with how many horses it would take to get up to that certain amount of power and we still do it today that's how we do bitcoin we do bitcoin the same way uh, we measured in fiat currency the old system because the horses were the old system human beings and i don't blame you for this human beings especially if you've been a gold bug for a long time and i'll get into that in the next one but it's very hard to adjust uh to a new paradigm shift in the technology so again i don't blame you for this but i'm just trying to make you aware of why you're hesitating and again uh, don't fall behind because of that but just be self-aware enough to know that maybe i'm only doing this because of human nature and it's okay so number five people don't buy bitcoin because human beings don't like to adjust quickly to technology number four piggybacking off number five a lot of you guys are old school i'm old school man you know people that are Hardcore precious metal stackers are usually older guys. Not always, but a lot of us are older and we're old school, man, and we're just not good with technology. You know, I know gold bugs that are much older than me. I'm 49. Uh, some of you guys are a little younger than me, my age or older. You know, I know some of these guys, one of the uh, precious metal dealers I used to deal with, he didn't even like using his iPhone. He, j he just didn't. You know, he just was not good with technology and everything else. So again, I understand that, but you gotta get with the times, man. You got to because your kids and your grandkids, you know, I hate to say this. and I'm not saying this in particular to you because you may have gotten them used to being, having precious metals and stuff like that. But a lot of these kids are into technology and the computers and stuff. And they don't really care about that old, that old metal that you love and revere and your dad and your grandfather before you love. They just don't. So, again, you got to get with the, with the program, guys, especially in 2024. And beyond 2030, 2035, you got to have a long, you got to look way down the road and get over that. Like I said, number four, being old school and not good with technology. Number three, now this is the one that kind of bothers me because I try to be positive as I can. I don't like the doom and gloom stuff, but a lot of you guys, man, are doom and gloomers, man. You know, I get a lot of text messages from you guys and you're telling me about the worst case scenarios. And I'm like that too. I have a lot of preparations just to make sure I'm ready, right? I, I, I do that. And if the lights go out, I'm ready. That's why I keep cash. Uh, but number three, the doom and gloom. And you guys think when the power goes out, you can't use your Bitcoin. Like you rather have your physical metals and not having Bitcoin. And I agree with that. I believe physical metals will be more valuable than Bitcoin in that scenario, right? But let me say this. If you are depending on your precious metals and you think that your precious metals are gonna save you in that type of scenario, uh, you got another thing coming. You need your weapons, you need all your supplies. But guys, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be passing around silver dimes for a loaf of bread. I'm sorry, you're just not. I've done a lot of research on this and that, that's why I used to have a lot of fractional. And again, I'm not saying 
it won't happen at all. But again, if the internet is out and there is no power and you walk up to somebody with a mercury dime or a gold coin or whatever, they're gonna be like, what is this? You're gonna be like, oh, it's gold. They don't, first of all, they don't even know it's real. Second, they don't care about that. You, you need cash in that situation or something to barter with. And also too, for those of you that don't know, if the power goes out, yeah, Bitcoin won't work at the time, but as soon as an ink of, a link of power comes out or a lick of power comes out, uh, we're right we're right back up and it's TikTok next block. A lot of you guys think that gold and silver has to thrive through a doom and gloom situation. Now, I'm not saying it's not gonna happen because trust me, I get ready for that stuff every day, but I don't wanna depend on an asset based on doom and gloom. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to look for solutions and not focus on the problems. So again, guys, the doom and gloom stuff, thinking that uh, if the lights go out, your Bitcoin won't work. And again, if that's your one of your big arguments, I hate to tell you this guys, but you have way bigger problems than your gold and silver is gonna solve. And I'm telling you that right now, you need your preparations. Number two, you guys don't trust it. For all the reasons I just said, you don't trust it. You don't trust the government. You don't know who made it. Who the heck is Satoshi Nakamoto? You don't know if it's gonna work and all this other stuff. You just flat out don't trust it for all the things I just listed above and I understand that, I do, I really do. Which leads me to number one. And the number one reason why precious metals, gold bugs, don't buy Bitcoin is simple. You have not studied, you haven't. Because you didn't trust it, number two, and all the things I just said, you haven't spent any time studying it. And this is why I always talk about the fundamentals on this channel. I don't tell you guys to just go out and buy Bitcoin. I don't, I don't want you to go out and buy Bitcoin unless you understand it. Because if you don't understand it, that you gotta understand how to hold it properly, how to buy it properly, how to go through the volatility, how to know that you gotta be in it for at least a four year cycle, a 210,000 block cycle. You know, if you don't know those things and Bitcoin, like when it was at 73, 74 or whatever it went and it crashed down to 61, a lot of you guys went and held on because you didn't study. The most important thing for a gold bug or anybody that's getting into Bitcoin is to study it. And I'm telling you. So there you have it. Those are my 10 reasons, my personal experience of why a lot of you precious metal stackers uh, haven't bought Bitcoin. And a lot of you have. I, I get a lot of emails and stuff telling me why. But if you're still on zero, Guys, that's the worst allocation you could be on. I'm just telling you that. And again, if you know, you know. But I don't have all the answers. You know, I'm, I'm studying every single day, uh, every single day. And I've been in Bitcoin over three years and I still am learning to this day. So it takes a long time to understand and learn this. It really, really does. But again, the reason why you buy precious metals, we know why, because it's energy, right? You, you go to work, you put your energy to it, and gold and silver has done a decent job in comparison and relative to fiat currency to maintain it and holding that energy, but it hasn't done the best job during the most time we needed it during this massive money printing. But I'll tell you one thing that's done real good through this, especially over the last 15 years, and you guessed it, the best way to save. And for me, the only way to save. And that's Bitcoin. I love each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love, guys.